Journalists, Muslims, European leaders, and other anti-Semites are warning that Donald Trump's declaration that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel will end the peace process in the Middle East. They also say it will cause the Titanic to sink and keep Pinocchio from becoming a real boy. Leaders of the PLO are saying that if Trump goes forward with the move, they will unleash a decades-long campaign of murder and terrorist warfare against the Jewish state, which threatens to interrupt the decades-long campaign of murder and terrorist warfare against the Jewish state that they're currently waging, sowing confusion and frustration among Palestinian terrorists throughout the region. And we wouldn't want that. Other Arab leaders are also disgruntled by the move and say it could cause their regimes to become oppressive and backward dictatorships where women have no rights and the general public is smothered under violent medieval religiosity while a small number of fat sheiks reap the benefits of millions in petrodollars as opposed to the sunshiny utopias they are today. All in all, experts, journalists, and other knuckleheads agree a president who would declare Jerusalem the capital of Israel has lost touch with reality, which is that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. But you're not allowed to say so, or Muslims will kill you. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Clavin, and this is The Andrew Clavin Show.